everyone. I just wanted to say that if you eat like the people who get sick, if you look like the people who get sick, who eat the ordinary foods of ordinary society, which is the cause and effect of making you degrade rapidly, premature aging, degradation, increpidation and sickness, then obviously you're just going to end up getting the same as what your parents, grandparents, whatever your, maybe your mother, your father, your brother, your sister got, or other people in society. If you follow the same lifestyle, they've shown epigenetics, which is your lifestyle, is far more powerful than genetical inheritances. You're not doomed to get something just because your parents got something, or your brother or your sister. It depends on your lifestyle choices. Now I'm going to put in a little clip of a woman who's only been eating raw foods for 30 years, only, maybe 40, only, and she's 70 years old, so it's just maybe in around half of her life, only. As people age, they try to find ways to pre preserve their appearance, and a Florida woman says she has found the fountain of youth. News Channel 5's Tanya Rogers joins us now with this special report. Tanya? Well, Jane Chan and I have had several people ask me, how old is she? She is a grandmother, and she is eligible for a senior citizen discount. Her quest started because she wanted to feel healthy and have lots of energy, but she has reaped more benefits than she anticipated. And, and here we have some ginger. Annette Larkins shows off her garden in her Miami-Dade County backyard. It's full of fruits and vegetables. Every corner of her garden has something that is edible. And I've been eating them and they're so good. She also collects rainwater to drink and water her plants. Annette says the food in her garden is her fountain of youth. I'm very vibrant. I have lots of energy, as I told you before. I'm up at uh, no later than 5.30 in the morning as a rule, and I'm ready to go. Annette's husband owned a meat store in the 1960s. That's when she became a vegetarian. But as the years went by, she became a raw vegan. She does not eat any animal products. Her food is unprocessed and uncooked. My diet consists of fruits, nuts, vegetables, and seeds. I do a lot of sprouting of seeds. And as you can see from my garden, of course, these are the raw foods that I eat. Annette also juices fruits and veggies. You name it, she can juice it. Grapefruits, pineapples, even spinach. But not everyone in the Larkins family eats and drinks this way. Annette's husband of almost 54 years chose to continue to eat the way he did when they were first married. I really wish I would have uh, did what she's done. Amos Larkin says people even wonder if Annette is his wife. They'll ask me what am I doing with their young girl. Or uh, they'll say, you got your granddaughter with you. You know, and... Uh, <laughs> Things like that, you know. Amos takes prescription medicines daily for high blood pressure and diabetes. Annette says she doesn't even take an aspirin. Because friends and strangers kept asking her questions about her health and youthful appearance, she decided to publish two Journey to Health booklets, and she produced a DVD 12 years ago. Discovery Channel, they had me to, they took sections of the booklet and translated them into Spanish, which, by the way, is my second language. So how old is this size four beauty? Annette just turned 70 years old. This one lady who is my age, she said, you know, to, was telling her friend that I used to tell them about eating and they wouldn't listen. And she, her, her uh, reply was to that or her response to that was, uh, look at her now and look at us. She's an amazing person, though. Oh, man. I mean, I mean, really, she do everything. I mean, build computers, oh, she's make all her own clothes, grow her own food, speak three languages. You know, I, it's amazing. Now, Annette has been eating completely raw for 27 years, and we want to remind everyone, no matter how old you think she really looks, she changed her lifestyle to feel better and have a good quality of life. Mm. And her husband says, I wish I had done what she did. And I said, well, is it too late? He goes, yes, too late for me. <laughs> she looks fantastic, but in this day and age, you know, a lot of people asking you, has she had plastic surgery? She hasn't. Um, she said she hasn't had any plastic surgery. She said, but never say never. Because she said, maybe when I'm 80, I might change my mind. But she hasn't had any plastic surgery. And it's really yeah. neat because he says she's so beautiful. And he says when he wants to get 
help when he goes to like the grocery store or something. He says, Annette, you walk in front of me because you get all the attention and then I'll be able to ask the questions. <laughs> Works out in his He's favor passionate. there. And her kids, her two boys are in their 50s, early 50s. Yeah. How, how was the orange juice? I saw you tasting it. It was very was good. It good. And she literally drinks all that through like a week or two weeks. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's a full-time job, I'm sure, it prepping is. that food. It is. Tanya. Great story, Tanya. Very enlightening right. and eye-opening. Thank right. you. You're welcome. <laughs> Imagine what she, if she was doing all of her life. She looks in her early 40s probably, even younger, and she talks like she's a very healthy 20-year-old. She's got amazing mental power. She wakes up at, at the latest 5 in the morning. She's extremely, extremely healthy. And she's an example of someone who eats a raw vegan diet who isn't eating the ordinary stuff like biscuits and like uh, cakes, ice cream, meat, dairy, fish, none of that whatsoever. And she doesn't have to take any medications. So I check out her the video. I'll leave the link below as well as other links for health. I, I'm, I've inspiredly created my own health shop. It's called HigherSelfHerbs.com. It's it's a herb shop. It's what I've learned through passionate study because I was very unwell for many years and I learned how to get better. And I'm making this video because I care for people. And I want people to know that if you're going to get cancer in the next 10, 5, 10, 15, 20 years or more, like, like people maybe in my or your family may have before, you, you choose that now today when you go to buy your food at the checkout line. Because I made this video because I was just thinking like, I was at the checkout line and I was thinking, this is like cancer food. This person is like just nothing but cancer food. There's a very, very strong link of ca between cancer and acidity, acidosis. And if you're eating food, if you're continually burning and acidifying your body, your body will be constantly trying to make mucus and to protect the lining and the other cells of your body that are important and trying to evacuate the, the, the acid. And it'll be constantly trying to leach stuff like um, calcium, magnesium, and other minerals from your bones to try and neutralize the acids. It'll also create fat cells to store the, fat, the, the acid in. So weight loss or fat, or obesity, overweight is linked to eating an acidic diet, as well as obviously from your lifestyle choices like act activity levels and exercise. So there's no point in getting sick, people. Come on, wake up. What's the point in getting like sick? You, you're choosing sickness or you're choosing health. But every time, every day, every half a day, every morning, every, every meal choice, at least if you're going to eat food, like cooked food, which is kind of unnatural generally speaking, but I'm not going to give out about that, you know what I mean? That's fine. It's not the end of the world. like, you know, if you have cooked food. I have cooked food sometimes for sure. But at least try and make it vegetarian and vegan especially. Try get rid of the dairy, the meat and the fish. That's all acidifying, it's just congestive, blocks you up, energetic, physical, blood, lymph, it's not good guys. So at least try to go for vegan. But beyond the vegan and beyond the gluten free, eat the raw foods, eat the salads, eat the fruits and have the herbs and you'll get better, you'll enhance your health like I have. And I have done massive, amazing, powerful, rejuvenative work in myself, P empowered, powerful living lifestyle choices it empowers your mind your chi your emotions your spirit your inspiration your energy your physical might prowess and recovery your energy levels and your well-being there's nothing more important than all of this so your body is your temple love it and look after it little steps we all go up and down because we're all we're very addicted as a species as a nation we've been very habitual habits it's hard to give up stuff when you when you when you start eliminating things from your diet. You start getting withdrawal symptoms generally, depending on what it is. I gave up meat easily overnight when I found out it comes from horrific factory farmed torture and abuse of behaviours. So that was easy for me to give up. Um, gave up dairy very much the same way. It's pretty easy. But what's difficult is like giving up like stuff like starches, <laughs> like root vegetables, etc. But they're not the most harmful things in the world necessarily, but they are congestive and generally a bit sticky and creamy and coating your GI tract. So they won't support real healing, like proper deep down healing. But obviously they're way less harmful than meat, dairy, fish. 
Um, you can easily get oils from other things outside of fish. Most nutritional information in the world is absolutely incorrect. Most people are dying. Like I look at people and they're like sick. They look terrible. Like people look so sick. No judgment, but they look really like they look really bad. Like like going bald, prem really prematurely, pale, bad skin, dry, flaky, red, inflamed skin, and everything. They look like like poor creatures and. A lot of these people will die from the main diseases like cancer, heart attack, they also call the heart disease. Um, people people be getting diabetes, very, very famous. Strokes. All this is like just totally unnecessary. So you're like if you're watching this video, you're surely and you're watching my channel, you're ready for the next level of evolution. You're ready for the next level of vibration and expansion. So, take care of yourself and I'm with you to support you and empower you. So, get powerful and stay in touch and check out my links below the video. And if anyone wants one to one coaching or even on health or personal healing and empowerment, contact me. And if um, you want relationship or group or family count group counseling with myself and my partner Sally, check that out too, also below in the link. So. I invite you to go on to a next better, more extended, expanded, and most of all, more exciting phase of your life. It's nothing better than expanding. It's fun, and you have really cool things and ideas to do. <laughs> it's excellent manifestation. So take care, and I'll see you again next video, another time. Bye now.